Hello and welcome, my name is Michael Langdon and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a quick resume in Microsoft Office 2007 and the process hopefully teach you a little bit about Office 2007. Now, um, you should know that you can get a trial copy of Microsoft Office 2007 at office.microsoft.com and you should be able to get it for 60 days and if you're doing a resume you may or may not be looking for a job and it never hurts to know something about Office 2007 since most employers would like you to know it. Now today I'm going to begin with just uh, giving you a brief outline of the look and feel of, uh, feel of Office. Uh, basically Office has taken menus and replaced them with tabs so there's a home tab, insert, page layout, references, mailing, review, view, and a PDF tab. This was added later though as part of this program here. Uh, one of the things I do need to show you right away is that if you come to the View tab, you will see that I can check and uncheck and my rulers here will appear and disappear. Most people do like the rulers to be there. So once that I've made sure I know that my um, ruler is there, I prefer a print layout. I'm going to come back to the Home tab. The other thing I want to show you is that you'll notice that the Save and all the other print stuff is gone. It's been replaced with the Office button. So if you click here, this will actually show you all of the office buttons and so on. If you need to make changes to your preferences, that is under the Word Options button. And I do recommend people go in there and look at those settings. So that's the office button where you have your save and so on. Uh, then, of course, you have your clipboard. And, of course, mostly what we're going to be working with today are our font settings and our paragraph settings. Okay, so uh, to begin with, of course, I'm going to type in my name, my address, uh, my phone number, and then my email address. Now, when I type this in, what you'll notice is that now if I hit the Enter key, it actually drops me two line spaces. Now, if I want to change my line spacing, which I do, uh, I do want it to change it to one. However, though, if I hit Enter, you'll see that there's still quite a bit of space there. And the resume should be pretty compact. So to get the minimal line spacing possible, I'm going to hold down the shift key and then hit the enter key. And I'm going to type in a uh, fake address. Oops. Okay, so now I've entered this, and you can see here that I spelled uh, someplace wrong, and so it has a red underline, or squiggly underline. Now if I right-click on this, you'll see what happens. It brings up the spelling stuff. Also, you'll notice that I have full access to all of my font changes and text changes. I can click on the word someplace here, and it will immediately fix this. Now if this were a proper name, I could also add it to the dictionary so that in the future it would not try to correct my proper name. So basically somebody's last name. So for now, I'm just going to click someplace, and you'll see that it fixes it. You also see that there's a green underline now, and that refers to grammar. And so I'm going to see what this, oh, I did actually put an extra space in there. Uh, so I'm going to click on that, and that is, of course, going to fix that as well. Now you can see down here that when I put my um, email address in, it, it changed it to a link. And so if I wanted to, I can uh, come down here, and you'll notice that there was this line in the, in the front here on the M. If I come up to that, you'll see that it gives me a drop-down list, and I can undo uh, the hyperlink, which is what I'm going to do, because I don't need it. It's, this isn't going to be a web document. Look at that. It went back. So let's try this again. So there we go, and then we undid the hyperlink. Now, um, the other thing that what I, what I want to do is I want to kind of highlight my name. So I'm going to select this text by bringing my cursor to the front of it and clicking and then holding down and dragging it across. The other way of doing this would be to simply come out front, and um, you can see when my pointer moves from a left-pointing pointer to a right-pointing pointer, if I click once, it automatically se selects the entire line. And if I wanted to, I could come in, I could click, and then hold down and select each line underneath that the whole line. But I'm just going to get this line here. I'm going to increase the size of this font to 14, and I'm going to make it bold. Okay, so there we have uh, the first part. I could also, if I wanted to, I could also come up here and select this 
and then of course I could do this centered if I wanted to or left side or right side or whatever I wanted to do if I also wanted to I could also uh, put a background on this so maybe I'll do that and I will just accent it with a light blue okay so now my name is accented with a light blue color there and I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna do an objective so whoops I accidentally hit the caps lock key so I'm gonna do that objective so to be gainfully employed as an artificial so there's uh, my objective and basically you can you really what you want to do is custom do your objective to fit whatever it is uh, you're applying for a job so the more specific your resume can be to the position that you're applying for the better it looks it just looks like you took time and you cared about it even though maybe you didn't but anyways it looks it's better because it looks like you care about the job so then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, my work experience and now what how you do this you can either put work experience first or education per first it really all depends upon your level of experience in education and the position you are applying for so if the position you're applying for is an experience based position so for example a doctor you may want to put your work experience as a doctor first especially if you know you've been a cardiac surgeon or something um, if you're just coming out of college obviously you may want to emphasize your educational experience more than your work experience because you may not have a lot of work experience so what you want to put first is that which you are best at I guess is what I'm saying so since I've been a teacher for a few years I'm going to put work experience and then I'm going to hit my enter key but I'm just going to hit it once okay and now I'm actually going to um, I'm going to do a bullet oh maybe I don't want to do that so I made a mistake here now and to undo mistakes you just hold down the control key and hit the Z key so I'm going to do that and that way I just undid it here is undo up here so this is undo right here and you can actually see that there's a whole list of items that I can undo so this is very useful uh, if you make a mistake which is what I did here so I'm gonna come back up here and I'm gonna hit enter and now I'm gonna do a bulleted list I had initially hit shift enter but it considers it all part of the same paragraph then so if I make changes to it um, it will affect everything so I'm gonna actually make this a little larger as well um, make this 14 and put this in bold so there's my work experience so I'm gonna put uh, so 2007 to present and I hit the enter key but now I'm gonna hit the tab key because that's gonna take me in one and I'm gonna okay so there's my first one and now the next one it will be the next work experience I have so I'm gonna hit hold down the shift key and hit the tab key shift tab and you can see what happens and this 